Hello! I'd like to walk on and oh to this game. Super Adventure Charlotte 2, I think. Anyway, how are you guys doing? <coughs> I'm correct last time we cleaned up some uh, collectibles. Got some stuff done basically. I don't know if this is the same save. It should be. Or whatever. Why is the moon off? Oh, yeah, because we activate the moon here. That's not a problem. It's kind of loud, don't you think? Already on the low end of the whatever. Anyway, so the Salasala Island is. Oh, you don't want to jump on when it's red, because that's when it starts to hurt. Anyway, Salasala Island. It's a pyramid or two, and it's kind of spooky to get around. Um, for the first part, you'll actually be focusing on a much different. Uh, for the first part, you'll be look. Gah! For the first part. You'll be looking for the moon switch, as it is the only method to get to the other pyramid, where the boss is at. Eat that game. I don't take no shit from you. Apparently I do. <sighs> anyway, as you can see, damage is quite high. So you want to be careful. Um, in this pyramid alone, there are two magic bottles and a health container. Wanna watch out for those. That's money, I think. Yeah, that's money. Um, up here is a warp to Puka Puka. Oh, no, this, no, this, ah, up there is a warp to Puka Puka. Yeah, there's lots of false gates down there. Um, you need to go down there a few times to the basement, where you have to use the shovel. Um, um, especially if you want to get that bag with 200 coins, because <laughs> it's the only way to get it, trust me. These guys are annoying, they'll stay away a distance, so yeah. Magic bottle, I think we should have the... Yep, we now have Cure! Fully recover from damage, the best spell in the game. Too bad there are only enough magic bottles to accompany two uses. Or one use, I don't know. I think only one use, yeah. Takes a full row and then some soap. Okay, so down in the basement there is a brew a door specifically in the bottom leftist area. Um that door will take you onward. I have to wanna rummage around a bit because there's two pickups I want to get first. What I think is to the left of here? Hmm. How do I get down there again? Um, I need to find something called... A oh, yeah, we gotta go up there. Then we go to the left, and then we go to door... I think it's called door A? Yeah, on the map store A. Yeah, I have a map, because this place is that confusing. It makes me all... It makes me giggle. It makes me very sparkly. Ah, the, the description says dig it. You fucking get it? Dig it? Because it's a shovel. Just like everyone has to make that fucking pun. Anyway, next sword. The crystal sword. Stronger than mere metal. Not as strong as the light sword, but it's still pretty good. This is where most of the false doors or return doors go out to, so you'll know when you did something wrong. The game will more than kindly inform you by dumping you out. Next is door D. Tis in the uh, there is no door you want to go into in the first area, by the way. Only in the the second and third. Going for it's on the test, kid. I'm gonna go up and down that menu for some reason. Anyway, life bottle. 
Anyway, if you've activated all the switches, you can actually just go through this safely without having to wait for it to go to red. Because of how it's designed. Okay. And Magic Bottle! Now we have every collectible in this particular section of the map. Except for that big old pile of gold, but I don't really give a shit. In case you want confirmation, no, there are no more spells to obtain. It's just a cure. Which is kind of good, it's, it's a great ending. I mean, the last spell is immediately one of the most preferable ones, which fully heals you. Why would you not want that? Jeez, this music is good. Yeah, let's check up with some settings. <sighs> Gotta make sure the settings are alright, you know. You you can't you can't play a game without the set you can't record without the settings being right, you know. How do you get to- oh, that's how you get to door F. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Do oh, I need to, I think. Oh, this is actually the only way to get to door F. So I'm not deviating from the path set. Don't worry, this is what you gotta do. Here we'll be at the pyramid one top. Don't forget to use your upward jab where appropriate. Go through this door and then go through this door and then you can push this down and you. Oh, let's go pick up the balloon jimins. There's no reason not to right now. Oh god, there's an ant. <sighs> and now it's gone! To as far as I know, and that's really all that matters. Two thousand big ones in case you're having to gamble it all away. So there is nothing here but this, and here we have a healing spring. Which we can teleport to for later. Not now. No reason to go there. Okay, let's see. Um the only collectible here is a shield and an axe. And I think we have to get that axe regardless. Anyway, I'm gonna open the platform until it turns red, then you can get up here, which is... This area is like one giant map, by the way. And I think the in-game map reflects this. It's one giant chunk of map. Like how it doesn't tell you anything. I hope that ant was like a single ant. I mean, I am at the attic, so why the fuck would ants be up here? There's the chest! Guess what? You can only get to the chest if you hit every single switch on! Jeez, I'm going to ship myself if I didn't. And I have. Because I did that in the preparation episode last time. For the fucking good reason, as you can see. Anyway, if you didn't get the light shield, this is your next option. The aqua shield, which for some reason does absolutely nothing. As you would expect, it's very price of some objects. For some reason, the aqua armor doesn't do the same. There's no general armor other than the light armor, which is kind of poopy. And you can go to the right, but you need to have the flute, which we'll get in this area, actually. We already have all the stones, so all we can really get is the flute, which we need to get the spears. I don't exactly what the spears are again, but there's something we need to get. Um, we need to push that switch. I don't know why we need to push it, though. Hey, it's a stone tablet. You'll need the legendary axe! With no E, to fight the boss. The treasure box is hidden in the top, of the top floor of the pyramid. It means this pyramid, by the way. You might say, oh, well, the other one? No, 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 we, we already got the crystal sword there. Makes no sense in my opinion, but... Anyway, well, you could just fall down and go like this. It's no real reason to do anything else. 
Is there anything? No, there's nothing to get here. Why would I put it like that? Regardless, I still find it a much cheaper alternative. I think we need to reach door J. Yeah, we need to get to door J. Which is at the end of this. Oh, we're gonna pass the boss room. You can fight the boss if you don't want to get the axe. But I want to get the axe just for collection purposes. Careful not to miss that jump, by the way. There is a warp to Hia Hia right above here. Uh, you press the switch, an elevator comes down. You're not told it's an elevator, but it does come down. I don't know if it's shaft or oh, that shaft. I like how the slowdown just makes it go at a regular speed. Yep, here we are, the axe. What sent flying blows? Punishing blows. I thought this aimed upwards. Why is it so ugh? Ugh. Anyway, let's go get the boss. <laughs> this axe is funny. This is axe is really practical in some way. I mean, the arc means... The range means that it's very useful against enemies that you can't directly hit with your basic equipment. <clears throat> that door I, I think, goes to the warp in Hia Hia. Just pull down and go left. Ha! But I am the greatest of warriors. I am Master Higgins! I forgot this guy's name. Anyway, you want to equip your best weapon, which in my case will be the Crystal Sword for demonstrational purposes. Unfair! Unfair! I'm gonna get a fair start here. Now you have absolutely no reason to jump! I don't think you want to because that ribbon hurts you? No, the ribbon doesn't hurt you. I thought it did. Anyway, you want to coax his hands to attacking. Jumping is not a good idea because you'll probably hit him regardless. Uh, the hands have individual health bars, so please keep track of that. This phase does not end until the fat lady sings, in which case the fat mummy. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Fucking, I'm gonna pull out my light sword. I did not earn this! Just so I could fucking not use it. I am Master Higgins, Master Warrior, and even a Master Warrior must agree that good equipment is half the battle. Okay, he's dead. Oh, his ribbon does hurt you. Hmm. Okay, let's pull out the axe, which supposedly is a good weapon to fight this boss. Now get why, you can avoid the ribbon, while still landing some pretty defty blows. Okay, so it swerves! The range of the axe is fantastic. Jeez, they knew what they were making when they made this. Okay, the body's gone, now his head gets all wonky. You wanna pull out your strong weapon again, if you got the crystal sword, use it. Or if you have the light sword, use it even more. Now he becomes quite irrational. If you happen to have the weapons, you shouldn't be Oh god, he's using attacks. And it's a homing attack, great. Oh cool! Seems that my magical... Yes! Seems that my aqua shield can stop it, so if you can get the aqua shield and the axe, I would heartily recommend it. And we'll get the elven flute. Higgins, there's a voice! 
on me! Oh no, I remember. I was on a raft! Going on my honeymoon! A honeymoon on a raft, great. The man I loved was... What did you say your name was? Higgins. And you're my Tina. I remember it all. The raft and the storm and being torn apart from you. That's right. I knew your voice sounded too good. But Higgins, you've gained a bit of gut since we've met. A. Might want to consider some diet. Uh, but I'd be so happy to be with you anyway. Higgins, it's you, it's you, it's you. So cute. That makes me happy. In fact, that makes me. I'm gonna let Tim Burton this. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to get one of the um, thingamajigs, just so I can get that out of the way. I don't want to be in here. It's much cheaper to get out. So you want to use a wing spell because there's something funky here. Why not heal wing? It's kind of difficult to know which one you're using because the UI is a little bit confusing. And we want to teleport to this one. And we'll end up right at the second pyramid. I'm going to show you how the Elven Flute works, just in case you're really impatient and you think, Oh my god, it's going to take an hour and a half until the next episode. Don't worry. Just for you guys, I'm making this episode early. So yeah, I guess it, in this level, they really do offer the best equipment you can get against the boss. He's, he's kind of dangerous. If you don't have the light armor, I think he deals sh a shit ton of damage, so... Be on your guard. It never hurts to get the best shit. As you can see, again, having all the blocks turned on pays off. Okay, so this is one of those little posts I've shown you before. You might have gone inside. You might have heard the funky music. You might have seen the platform and like, hmm, what do I do here? I've used all my items, but none of them seem to work. Well, the only item that really works here is found on equipment called the Elven Flute. A stone shaker. That song's psychedelic. Anyway, it opens these little funky areas. And these are once per island, I think, and you get a spear that is... I need to get that, actually. So there's a magic bottle here, if I remember correctly. That's what we're looking for. In fact, even on Poka Poka, there is an island like this. There's a location like this. Anyway, I'll be waiting on this thing for a while. Uh, there's a door down there that goes back up, so you can take that if you're kind of lazy. I don't know which platform's the right one, though. I don't, don't quote me on anything. So, you having a good uh, experience? You liking the video? Hope you are. Anyway, here you go. The moon spell. Hmm, what does it do? Where is it? Oh look, it says magic spell. And it shows that currently I have the moon. Hmm. So that's how we're going to do this, I guess. Pull down to this door. We'll get out here. Makes it significantly easier to go down to door L, which is down here. Which leads back out. Or you could just use the wing spell and the feather and all that stuff. So next, uh, I think we're going to do Poka Poka. We're going to make keep it nice and easy. So next time we're going to get all the magic spells. We're going to get every last collectible. If that happens to tickle your fancy, do watch the next video. If it doesn't, I suggest either watching one of my other series or just quitting watching me altogether. But I'll see you guys next time, we're going to get all the orbs and last objects, and then we're going to move into the last island, which will probably be an all nighter. Yeah. Um, I guess I want to be here. See you guys next time. Um, poka poka!